Hello everybody, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library, and here are some of my favorite books for the month of April. We're going to start off with my favorite, probably of all of them. This one is called Night Owl by Christopher Denise, okay? And it's a really great book about a little owl who wants to be a knight. And uh, every morning before he drifts off to sleep, because owls sleep at night, he imagines himself as a real knight. And he gets into night school. And he's, uh, he's not very tough with a sword. And he has a hard time with the shield. And he has a habit of nodding off during the day, which doesn't make a great knight. And look at all the big knights above him. And we have our little friend down here. And so he gets assigned to night watch. And he might be able to um, save the castle. So I highly recommend that you get Night Owl and uh, find out if he becomes a knight after all. <coughs> Excuse me. This is called Jeff Goes Wild for anybody who has kitty cats. It's by Angie uh, Rousel Rouselwer, I think. It's got great illustrations. They're bright and colorful and uh, I really enjoyed looking at them. It says, I am Jeff, hear me roar. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. So it's a rainy day and Jeff is bored. He's tried all of his favorite things, knocking over plants, playing with the toilet paper, getting into the laundry. You know, all the things that my orange kitty does when he's naughty. And so he decides to take a nap. And what happens sometimes when we go take a nap? We go into dreamland and we dream about all these great things. And he has a dream where he becomes a tiger. It's a great book about imagination and animals he might see in the wild. And he sees a real life tiger. Cute story. I like it mostly though because uh, of the bright, colorful, fun illustrations. I've got Lovebird Lou. Uh, when Lou discovers the amazing things other birds can do, he's convinced that being a lovebird is just too ordinary. So we see La Lou, our beautiful lovebird, and lovebirds are just so gorgeous. But he sees all the other things that birds can, other birds can do. The nightingales have the gift of song. And the pelicans are great at figure eights. And the flamingos were wonders of the water. And he tries to do those things that the other birds do, and he just can't do it. He would rather be a flamingo. He would rather be, you know, a pelican. But he can't do that. So uh, he, he goes with all the different birds and tries really hard to stop being a love bird and become a different kind of bird. Um, but then he figures out it's great being a love bird and you know, all those other birds are really great, but he really likes being a love bird. So kind of being your true self. This is Love Bird Lou and it was written by Tammy Sauer. Cute book, cute, cute. Um, this book is hysterical. It's called Crocodile Hungry. And it's by um, Aya Sumner and John Martz. Okay, cute book. Not too much text. So Crocodile realizes that he is really hungry. What can Crocodile eat? So he goes to his refrigerator and there's nothing in his refrigerator he wants. So he decides to go to the farmer's market, the grocery store. Um, let's see, where else does he go? Oh, to the community garden. And what do you think happens when he goes to those places? Total chaos because he's a crocodile. Okay. And so he's sad and he's starting to get hangry because everywhere he goes, all the people run and ruin all the food. And now he's a hangry cro crocodile. So... He goes to a pond, okay, and uh, decides 
but he knows exactly what kind of food to get. So check this book out, kind of funny, not a ton of text, great for a new reader. Um, and I think you and your kids will really enjoy that one. May is around the corner and Mother's Day is around the corner as well. So this is a great book about moms. This is called Oceans of Love by Janet Lawler. And it's about different kinds of mommies. Imagine moms beneath the waves with lots of love to share. Whatever they might say or do to show how much they care. All right, so throughout the story, we have different kinds of animals. We have dolphins and whales and stingrays and hermit crabs and fish and octopi, octopus. So octopus has many arms to choose a hidden spot where we ones get untangled if they're tied in a knot. Mother whale will blow her top to uh, spout her special love. Her calf stays snuggled by her side or sometimes just above. So lots of fun stories about what moms in the oceans do for their little ones. So a fun book to read for Mother's Day. This one's a little bit longer, so mom or dad might want to read it. Um, this is called The Library Fish, and it's by um, Alyssa Capucci. Okay, and this is about a fish who lives at the library. And um, it's no ordinary fish, of course, because it lives at the library. And he sees people check out books. And he has his favorite books, and he watches story time, uh, and he watches uh, all the books get checked out. But one day, there's a giant snowstorm, and nobody can come to the library, and there's no story time, and he doesn't get fed, and all of that stuff. So he decides to do his own story time, and he jumps out of his bowl like the crazy fish he is, and he has his own story time. He reads his own favorite books and has his own special ideas. And then he hops back in his bowl, and when the librarian gets back, he can't figure out what happened to the library because there's books everywhere and, and things seem a little bit off. And how could those books? get there if nobody made it to the library so cool book the library fish and i have a couple of non-fiction books for you uh this one is called solitary animals introverts of the wild and of course i was attracted to this book by the cover bright shiny colors you know look at that inside Celebrate the strength of solitude with this factual and validating look at the animal kingdom, honoring those who prefer their own company. So just like people, some animals prefer some quiet time. So check out these illustrations. The panther is a solitary animal. Okay. And it shows... Um, um, like animals that aren't as solitary, like whales or stingrays who glide together. But then there's the octopus. It's just a really, um, not a ton of text. It's great. It's great for, um, you know, um, somebody who's just learning to read or who's just learned to read. So there's not a ton of text, like I said. I really like it. And it's got great illustrations. So, love that. I know we don't want to see snow. I'm done with snow. Um, but this is a really great book called Bobcat Prowling by Mariah Jan Ferry. Okay? And we do know we have bobcats in Ohio. And they've been seen in Fairfield County. So this is Beyond Your House. Behind tall pines, under paling stars, 
yearling wanders searching for a home. So after a bobcat has been raised by its mom and she is ready to have another cub, she tells him it's time for him to go. So this is mom. She tells her cub it's time for you to go out and survive on your own. So he starts to travel and try to find some land of his own, but he comes across another bobcat who tells him to move on. Okay, and then he walks through somebody's yard looking for food. He's looking for food and he sees a pheasant, but it belongs to the coyote. It's the coyote's land. So this is a lot more text, okay? Um, so you want to read this with your child or if they're a little bit older and they uh, are reading at a higher level. Um, but in the back, there's some text about bobcats, all about bobcats with some good vocabulary words in it. Um, so I really like it. It's a very pretty book. And you learn a little bit about bobcats. And uh, I love a pretty nonfiction book. So those are the books that I have for you for April, and I will catch you in May, and uh, if I don't catch you until after, have a wonderful Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there, and don't forget, if you want some of these books, just give the library a call or go online. Um, we have most of them on our shelves, and if we don't have them and they're checked out, we can get them reserved for you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.